G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. Rightio. Now today is swipe day, but it's not your normal acrylic pour swipe day. No, it is bloom swipe day. So um, hopefully you guys know what a bloom is by now. The um, technique created by the gorgeous Shelley Carruthers um, and I'm going to do a swipe. Now I did these oh, like a year ago, the blooms, the swipes and they seem to be coming back around and I used to put the cell activator on here on my palette knife and I would swipe with that um, and again this this technique has, I mean I didn't invent that <laughs> um, but um, it seems to be coming around again, putting the um, cell activator on there and swiping. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my pillow paint down. I'm going to put some colours down the centre. I'm going to swipe up and down and then I'm going to tilt a little bit. Um, I don't want to get my big puppy pull out to spin. I'm just going to do it the old fashioned way and tilt. So pillow paint is the one I usually use. This one, the British Paints. Wall low sheen in white. My cell activator is two to one. I like the two to one when I'm swiping. Um, it's two parts Aussie Flow Troll to one part titanium white in the Amsterdam. I've got a this little piggy in caramel that I've made up. And then I've got my old colours from a year ago. Black, gold, and brown. These are Joe Sonia's. Um, just the you know in the little in the bottles. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's get started, shall we? I'm, I'm a bit out of practice, especially with I mean, like I said, it's been over a year probably since I've done a swipe. Let's see if I can remember how to do it, shall we? So I'll put some paint in the center like that first. And then um, I'm just going to spread it just thinly to the outsides, to the edges. So I want to keep the pillow nice and thick in the middle there. But I just want the rest of the canvas to be wet. I'm going to pour some more paint over the center in a minute. You have, you have to be really careful, actually, not to put too, too much um, paint on your surface because um, it'll crack. Actually, probably enough there. I won't put any more on. I'm just going to spread the edges out and leave that middle section nice and thick. Yeah, so if, if yours are um, cracking as they dry, it's probably because you've left like too much pillow paint on there, maybe haven't tilted enough off because you do need to tilt it or spin it to get your, your paint off. Oh, I haven't got my cloths again. Hang on, let me get my cloths. I'm going to have to put you on pause because I'm going to have to go and rinse them. Right, got my cloths. Now I'm not going to go through the recipe again. So it's, there's a lot to go through with this. There's the pillow paint. Then there's the pouring medium to mix with the paints. Um, and then there's the cell activator. So oh no, I can't get my gloves on because my hands are damp. <laughs> um, so look, I've got plenty of videos where I, sh you know, I show you or go through exactly what's in everything. But um, I'm not going to go through it every single time I do a video. All right, I'm just going to pop some bubbles here with my little little torch. I, I actually just gave the um, tin of paint a bit of a, a shake. Not a very big shake, just a little bit of a shake. Righto, I'm going to stir this one, cell activator, because I haven't used that for a little while. Righto, now let's get to pouring these on. I haven't got much of the brown left. Gold's pretty full, the black's pretty full. Okay, uh, let's start with the brown, shall we? told you there wasn't much in there. I'll have 
to make up some more, won't I? No, I just leave it upside down in my pocket. One time I had it in my pocket and I forgot about it and I'm going, where's my paint? And everyone's going, it's in your pocket. <laughs> uh, of course, I'd forgotten where I'd put it. All right, here we go. Now the gold. Make sure that you clean the top off. Otherwise, you get little dry bits of paint there. Um, and then... Um, no, I don't want two metallics next to each other. Let's go with the black. And then the little piggy. Like so. Um, I wonder if I can get some more brown out. bit more of the brown and I think a little drizzle of the black again I like quite a lot of black in this one okay that's it move those off to the side for a minute now with this one you could um, you could just pour it on or you could dip it I might dip it um, and because I don't want to waste a lot of it um, you know, I don't want to pour it into a container. I'm just going to pour some on here. If I put that there, are you still going to see that? If I put it on the side, yep. So, yeah, because I don't want to waste it. You don't need a lot. I'm just going to pour a little bit here. Like so. And then I can just dip that in there like that. But you can, you know you could just pour straight onto it you know with your little tub you could just pour straight onto it um, but I think this is just as easy I mean you could you could just do it like that scrape it up like so you want a, a decent amount on there all right here we go I'll get that paint tub out of the way are you ready oh my gosh so out of practice so I want to go half take half of that push down. There we go. Oh, I haven't got anything to wipe on. This will have to do. And look, some cells are coming through already. I do like to, when I'm swiping, is kind of just push down a little bit. missing it a bit there that's all right when I tilt hopefully we'll cover some of that area there and make sure that you clean your little palette knife really well between each one yeah I didn't push hard enough there look at that see I haven't got <clears throat> enough that paint didn't push down far enough I'm gonna have to do that one again you need to push down with your palette knife to get all those colors to spread properly. I'm gonna to have to go again with this one. Okay, push down. See, so it's making a little bit of a, um, like a wave, you're pushing it. It's better, isn't it? You can see the difference. But like I said, I'm so out of practice. I hadn't even remembered that I needed to do that. Push down, see the, the wave in front of my palette knife? Push it over the edge. See, this one's much better than my first one there. I've missed that bit there. Oh no, look, now I've, now I've messed up. I've got paint on my card. All right, I'm just gonna pour some on here. But see, it doesn't spread as well on that. So I'll, I'll go and get another card because I want that to be covered. Go and get another card. All right, just got to get this little corner here. Push down, just go slowly. I wouldn't mind redoing that section there, but trying to get in just that little section, I'm, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to turn this around. 
We're going to get another little card in my card drawer. <clears throat> my little Bunnings paint sample chip card things. And I'm just going to pour some here. Dip. Better not do it over my canvas. Probably spill it in there. All right, so I've got some on there. Now I'm going to take the other half of that paint, push down. I don't think my pillow's as thick as it was on this side. It's probably spreading. I touched the canvas there. Oh my gosh. That's all right. It's quite forgiving, you know. I'm going to be tilting. So, all right, here we go. Push. I think that one had a little bit more cell activator on it than the other ones did. We don't want to make it too, too thick. There we go. Look at all the cells, you guys. Aren't they gorgeous? Well, actually, they're not cells. They're not cells at all. They're lacing. There's a difference. Cells, <clears throat> circular, more, well, usually circular. I have colours inside colours. These are just like, these are just lacing like spider webs. Oh, I didn't push that one hard enough. Look, see how my colour didn't go far enough? I'm going to have to do that one again and push a bit harder. I was just worried that there wasn't enough pillow paint underneath it, but I'm going to have to push harder than that. There we go. That's better. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, I did it. Now, I'm not going to worry about these two edges because I'm going to be tilting anyway. If, um, if you were spinning... Um, it would probably just all spin off. Actually, I don't know how a rectangle canvas would spin. Because I know a square one, a round one, you know, would spin equally and, you know, the paint would fly off equally. But when it's like this, it's a rectangle, it's, um, it's not quite as easy. I'm loving these colours, though. Oh, you can't see the shimmer shimmer from up there. All right. Let's, um... Let's have a little look, see what we can do. See, there's really not much I, I can do, really. I've got some, this is my first two up here where I was a bit out of practice here. I've got a lot of um, white showing there. So let's go. Now, I'm not worried about keeping my center. I don't mind if it goes all wiggledy piggledy and I'm not fussed about that. I just want to try and get some of this white paint off the corner there and the paint to go over the edge and there it goes I'll come back and actually while it's heading in that direction I'm going to try and get this corner off here So off we go to the side there and I need to go over that side and over that corner and then I'm going to come back a little bit um, oh look at that how pretty is that just checking the composition I don't really want to change it a lot I haven't gone over that corner there, but I'm going to have to look back on my videos and see how I how I tilted because you you kind of need to get over each corner because I went from this corner to that corner. Probably should have gone this corner then this corner, so this half was done and then come back down here. Um, now I want to try and go over. I want to try and go over this corner. You've got to be really careful that you don't put your fingers over the over your canvas. So with your drippy paint. So I'm just going to bring that back to the middle. Now I'm going to go down and see if I can go a little bit off that corner there. 
Okay, it's done. Oh gosh. You gotta be so careful because you know you don't want to overstretch things. I'm gonna take it all back now. Hopefully you can still see. I don't want to turn it because I'm I know where my paint is at the moment. My weight of my paint. I'll come around this way. I oversee it this over here. I've overstretched here a little bit. Okay, I think I'll just leave it. I think I'm pretty much covered. Oh, this corner's not covered. Doesn't matter. Let's pick up a little bit of paint from there. That might just help it over. I haven't done this corner down here at all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to go for that corner. <laughs> I want all my corners covered. It looks weird if you have a bare corner, doesn't it? All right, I'm just going to bring everything back a little bit now. I've gone over all my corners, so that's good. I didn't do it very well though, I must say. Very, very much out of practice. Okay. Can you see that shine? Oh, it's so pretty. Just as where you got gloves on, hey? Look at that. Look at that. All right, now I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on that corner there because I missed that tiny little corner there. Same with you. Let's try and match your paint colour. Whatever's dripped off is usually going to be a good match, which is sitting just down there. If you put it back in the same spot, of course, it's usually a good match. Okay, that's pretty good. What do you think? Let me get these gloves off. I'll bring it down for a close up and see if we can pick up the shimmer of it. The gold kind of got a little bit lost and I got a little bit of overstretching here, but the rest of it's really pretty. And I like how I don't have that straight line down the center. It's because I've moved it and tilted it. Um, I've got a lot, of, a lot more movement in it, a lot more abstract in it. It's um always reminds me of like animal print, you know, leopard skin or something like that. Oh, if we can pick up the shine on it. Probably not. Look at that. How pretty is that? I just wish I hadn't overstretched that one corner. Never mind. I'll do it again and practice. I think, I probably, like I said before, I need to do like this side and then that side. Or, you know what's easier? Just do a square canvas, <laughs> swipe it and spin it. And then you don't have to worry about overstretching it. Let's do that next time. Okay, let's do that next time. Um, I might do some turquoise. What about turquoises and navy and silver next time? Something like that. All right, so that was um, that was fun. I enjoyed that. Got some gorgeous, gorgeous lacing going on. It's pretty easy to do. The hardest thing is the tilting, but if you if you spin it, then you know it's easy peasy lemon squeezy, nice and simple. All right, there we go. What do the sides look like? not too bad. Can you see any shine of the metallics? I don't know, it's really hard to pick it up on the, on the camera. Can't really pick them up. I'll show it to you anyway when it's dry. All right you guys, thanks again for watching. Hope you're all getting your blooms on. <laughs> not bloomers, blooms. And um, have a go. So much fun. All right. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.